biotap hydrogen fueling is building up hydrogen fuel cell infrastructure across the US, the lack of which is one of the biggest roadblocks to hydrogen fuel cells being used over battery electric vehicles. So with me to explain more about what uh, PowerTap is doing is Raghu Kalambi, the CEO of PowerTap Hydrogen Fueling. So great to have you here, Raghu. Good morning, Jane. Thank you very much. So let's just start. And I, like I was telling you, I've been hearing a lot about hydrogen, and I, I think people are familiar with it. But can you just explain, like, where does it come from? What is just for people who don't know a lot about hydrogen energy? Where does it come from, and and how do we use it? Absolutely. Uh, so hydrogen is the most abundant element in uh-huh. the universe. However, it is it, it does not. Um, exist in a raw form. Uh, We make hydrogen using renewable natural gas, uh, using a process called steam methane reformation. And the advantage of hydrogen as a clean fuel uh, over say battery electric vehicles uh, and gas or diesel has to do with a couple of different areas. One is in the time to fuel a vehicle. Battery electric vehicles take a long time to refuel. Um, whereas hydrogen vehicles can fuel as quickly as you fuel your consumer car. Uh, Secondly, uh, the cost advantage over diesel, uh, which is a main competitive fuel for the long haul trucking market, which the the industry views as the larger opportunity in the near term. Um, We have a hydrogen has a very big cost advantage. The big challenge is that there are a lack of fueling stations and our this is a fueling technology and refueling technology. There are under 100 stations in the United States versus approximately 25,000 battery electric vehicle charging stations and 150,000 gas stations. And so we're focused on building that fueling infrastructure. So when the vehicles do come in the next couple of years, they have sta- people have places to go to fuel their truck or their car. Absolutely. What does a, a, a hydrogen fueling station look like? Does it look like what we think or how does it work? It would look very similar. Our, our technology is very unique because we actually make hydrogen at the individual station level. Our technology would be, it would be look like a modular unit uh, and including the space that's needed for the vehicle, it's under a thousand square feet that we need. Our plan is not necessarily to build out our own stations, uh, we're chatting with existing gas station and truck station owners uh, to co-locate. Very interesting. Um, how long does it take to fuel a hydrogen car? It takes uh, five to seven minutes. Oh, so like uh, gasoline. Like gasoline. And uh, as an example, depending uh, for a battery electric vehicle like a Tesla, it could take an hour. Yeah, well, I know there was talk about putting restaurants, at the, you know, because you can eat dinner while your car is being recharged. So... Um, they were trying to figure out how to do that. So, Rigo, explain to me, it seems like the stars are aligning for alternative forms of energy. I mean, explain to me what's going on public, public with governments and with private industry that's making this all come together. So we might really see some change here. Absolutely. I, I, I think that, you know, certainly the, the, the clean movement's been around for uh, many years. Uh, my view, having teenage sons, is it's another generation that's driving it and demanding it for their generation and their offspring. And, and at least my generation is mostly, we've mostly ignored the, the, you know, the impending uh, climate change challenges. And I think with people seeing more severe storms and extreme weather, it's become uh, very blatant that there, there is a climate issue. And with the Biden administration coming in, and, and, and on hopefully um, putting in stringent federal rules around that, we believe there's a way to have alternative fuels that are not more expensive, that are actually cheaper than the current incumbent old technologies, which are really fossil fuel, gas, and diesel. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I explain a little bit about the cost of that. Like how much would it cost? And then you need a vehicle too, right? So who is working on hydrogen powered vehicles? Super, I'll start with that. So right now, there are hydrogen powered cars on the market, only a few. There's a Toyota Mirai, there's probably about 15 to 20,000, mostly here in California. Uh, Hyundai has a car also, BMW is coming out with a car. Um, it would cost uh, to fill a hydrogen car with the current technology, uh, 
approximately $50 to $60 a tank. Uh, and it, that would take you about 400 miles. However, we believe our technology, which is lower cost, because we're making hydrogen at the individual station, can drop that cost by 30 to 40 percent. In terms of the trucking market, uh, there are many players. Toyota is the biggest OEM in the world, automaker. They are coming out with a hydrogen truck. Daimler and Volvo have a joint venture. Hyundai has made an announcement. And then there's a pure play company called Nikola Motors uh, on the NASDAQ, which has got a lot of press in the last few months. Uh, they're launching a hydrogen long haul truck and say they have over $10 billion of orders. What is the exhaust? I mean, how is it cleaner than what we've traditionally seen in vehicles? Absolutely. So uh, when we produce hydrogen, um, we capture the, the carbon capture and, 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 and we get rid of it. It's actually sold and used either in other commercial clean ways or it's just dissolved. Our battery electric vehicles, even though they use electricity, have challenges because the electricity grid in many parts of the U.S. is still fossil fuel based. Okay, very interesting. And I really found it fascinating to learn about this and how hydrogen fits into the whole energy mix as we, you know, change as we as the globe changes in terms of where it gets energy. So thank you so much for you for joining me. Thank you very much.